You know, it's really bad if the American government is banning certain foods, since the food there is filled with chemicals and can be so unhealthy. So let's take a look at some of these banned foods and see if you agree or disagree with their choices. Starting off, we have haggis. Since 1971, haggis, Scotland's national dish, has been on a list of foods banned in the US. It's made from sheep's heart, liver, and lungs, combined with spices and oatmeal, and traditionally encased in a sheep's stomach or an artificial substitute. Now, respectfully, ew. <laughs> traditionally, it's consumed on Burns Night in Scotland, a countrywide event that honors Scottish poet Robert Burns. However, those of Scottish heritage living in the US cannot dine on haggis due to the ban the USDA placed on the sale of sheep's lung 47 years ago. The ban was set in place in light of the emergence of the degenerative disease, Scrappy, which affects the central nervous system in sheep. Now, Despite this, the Scottish government remains optimistic that the ban might eventually be lifted, allowing Americans to legally enjoy the Scottish delicacy. But I don't know though, I think the Scottish should just keep this one. Up next is beluga caviar. Beluga caviar known for its luxury was banned in the US in 2005 due to its popularity leading to overfishing of beluga sturgeon. Now, when I say luxury, I mean that it came with a price tag of $200 an ounce. Now, the excessive demand for the delicacy pushed the species into protected status, making the sale of their caviar illegal. In 2006, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species suspended all trades made with the national caviar producing regions of the Caspian and Black Seas. Now, the beluga sturgeon can take up to 20 years to reach maturity, and the fish harvested for caviar are often nearly 2,000 pounds. The eggs themselves are the largest of the commonly used rows and range in color from dark gray to light gray, with the lighter colors coming from older fish and being the most valued. Sturgeon Aqua Farms, a major caviar producer and the sole legal breeder of beluga sturgeon in America, works under a unique agreement with the government. It donates fertilized beluga eggs to aid in replenishing the species in the wild, and maybe one day this type of caviar won't be outright banned but will have stricter rules and regulations. Now we have the Japanese pufferfish. Pufferfish, a delicacy in Japan's fine dining scene, can be lethal if improperly prepared. Since 1980, pufferfish has been on the FDA's automatic detention list. Now the agency noted that it contained pterodotoxin and saskatoxin, which are toxins that affect the central nervous system and are known to be more deadly than cyanide. Now these toxins are known to cause paralysis and even death. Now with this in mind, you may wonder, why would anyone want to consume this dish? And I have no clue. Apparently it's regarded as a delicacy in the sushi world where it's more widely known as fugu. Now consumption of the fish is almost entirely banned in the United States, with the exception of a few sellers who are permitted to have a license. Now I just don't understand why people would want to take the risk to even eat this. Now we have unpasteurized milk. Unpasteurized milk, also known as raw milk, is a significant health risk due to its potential to harbor dangerous bacteria. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention stated that raw dairy products are 840 times more likely to cause foodborne illnesses compared to pasteurized dairy products. Now, raw milk is banned on the interstate level, as all milk going across state lines must be pasteurized and meet federal safety standards. However, it is legal in some areas on a state by state basis, with places like Arizona and California allowing it under certain guidelines. Now, The primary concern here is that raw milk may be dangerous, especially if not stored properly. Now, Some people believe that raw milk is healthier than pasteurized products, though so it has somewhat of a cult following in the areas that allow it, but it is currently banned in 21 states. Now we have shark fins. In the US, the consumption of shark fins, primarily used in soups and considered a delicacy in China, is surrounded by controversy. Currently, only 12 states uphold an official ban on the sales of shark fins. Now, The main concern is the practice of finning. However, the act of shark finning itself has been illegal in US waters since 2000. Now, Shark finning is banned as it is considered an act of animal cruelty because it involves 
involves the slicing fins off of live sharks just to toss them overboard and endure a horrific end. This inhumane practice has led to shark fins becoming one of the several foods banned in the US since the Senate passed the James M. Inhofe National Defense Authorization Act in December 2022. Now, still, 10 of the 12 states that ban the sale of shark fin still allows restaurants to serve the meat. Shark fin soup is actually considered to be a luxury dish in several Asian countries, but I don't think I'd want to try it. <laughs> Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs are our next food. Although Kinder Chocolate is popular in Europe, the Kinder Surprise Eggs have faced multiple issues in the US. They are banned because they contain non-edible items, posing a risk, particularly to children. The FDA banned the sale of all food products containing embedded non-nutritive objects some 80 years ago, and the European Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs, which contain a non-edible toy inside, falls under that category. Category. Now, the hollow candy egg is a hit overseas, and there have been multiple petitions and campaigns advocating to legalize it in the US for several years. Now, for now, the product remains banned for sale because it's deemed a choking hazard. However, that doesn't mean there haven't been attempts to import it. According to an article from the Wall Street Journal, as of 2018, the US Customs and Border Protection had seized over 160,000 Kinder Surprise eggs from travelers' baggage and from international mail shipments since 2011. Now, as of 2018, though, a different version of the chocolate treat called Kinder's Joy is available in the US, as the packaging keeps the toy separate from the candy, with each side of the egg covered in plastic wrap. Now, guys, Kinder eggs are one of my favorite kinds of chocolate, and I can't believe you don't have them in the States. Moving on to sea turtles. Sea turtles, being on the endangered species list, are still legally hunted in 42 countries and territories around the world, but the US is not among these. Historically used in dishes like turtle soup, the endangered status of sea turtles has contributed to a decline in the popularity of such culinary practices. Under the Endangered Species Act (ESA), it's illegal to import them into the US, whether as food or for any other purpose. In 2007, the US Fish and Wildlife Service reported that conservationists estimated that 35,000 sea turtles were consumed annually in California alone. Now, according to Sea Turtle Conservancy, sea turtles are given legal protection in the United States and its waters under the Endangered Species Act, which lists the Hawksbill, Leatherback, Kemp's Ridley, and Green Turtle as endangered, and the loggerhead is listed as threatened. Now, turtles are cute for pets, not eating. <laughs> Now we have a key fruit. The aki is a popular Jamaican fruit that is not allowed to enter the United States because it's highly unpredictable. When the fruit turns red, it's ripe, but when it's yellow, it's filled with toxic levels of hypoglycin A, which when consumed could result in vomiting, hypoglycemia, or even death. The black seeds, on the other hand, are always poisonous. Now, a key imports were banned in the US for nearly 30 years before the FDA lifted the ban in 2000 after determining that safe processing methods had been developed by several companies. Imports of canned a key are now allowed, but only from approved processing companies. It remains illegal to import fresh a key, but consumed safely, a key is a great source of electrolytes, vitamins, and minerals, and contains no cholesterol or saturated fats. Next up, we have horse meat. Now, to be clear, it's not illegal to eat horse meat in the US, but again, why would you want to eat it? It is, however, illegal to slaughter horses and by default prohibits the consumption of it, or at least makes it extremely challenging. Now, President Trump renewed the ban on slaughtering horses for meat in March 2018. As the case with other animals, it's not illegal or taboo to eat horse in other countries, such as China, which has one of the largest markets for horse meat. Still, the taboo around horse meat hasn't stopped famous chefs who operate heavily in the US from talking about how good it is, as Gordon Ramsay's list of tips and tricks for cooking horse meat shows. Now, it's supposedly quite tasty, with a lean, sweet quality that makes it particularly good as a capario or tartare, but horses aren't the only animal eaten in other countries that would take Americans aback either. Either. Guinea pigs are pets in America, but they're commonly eaten in South America, especially Peru. Eating dogs is common in some parts of Asia, and now as a vegetarian, this all sounds very gross.
gross to me, but didn't it come out that Burger King used horse meat some time ago? Ugh. <laughs> And last on our list is Kazoo Marzoo. Kazoo Marzoo is often referred to as rotten cheese because it's infested with live maggots. Yep, you heard that right. People willingly eat cheese filled with maggots. Now, the cheese, which is made from unpasteurized sheep's milk, contains the larvae of a particular fly. Now, these maggots evidently facilitate the formation of the cheese, and once the larvae hatch, they begin to eat through the cheese, which effectively makes it softer. Then the cheese is served with the maggots still lodged in it. Kazumar Zoo has been a tradition in Italy for many years. However, the EU and the United States have banned the cheese for health reasons. In 2009, the Guinness Book of World Records declared Kazumar Zoo the most dangerous cheese because the maggots, once consumed, can survive stomach acid to pass through the intestine walls, causing vomiting, abdominal pain, and bloody diarrhea. Why anyone would actively want to consume this is beyond me, and whoever thought eating this was a good idea should be in jail. <laughs> well, that's all for our list of the top 10 banned foods the government prohibited for your own protection. Now, would you want to try any of these foods? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel while you're down there. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.